to understand what is going on we have to have some understanding of the nature of reality because if we don't we will quite understandably dismiss things that are happening but we can't perceive how they could happen example you believe the world is actually solid our bodies are solid that wall is solid and not a holographic illusory physical not possible well hold on if you said to people when you look through your eyes, can you see everything that exists in the space you're looking at? What are they going to say? They're going to say yes, but they can't. This reality is a holographic, digital holograms. That's what this physicality is. And what we're seeing now is more and more mainstream scientists who are uh, coming out and saying, actually, physicality is holographic. If you don't know that, then of course you're going to dismiss the very idea as impossible if you think the world is solid. It's not. It's dead simple. I'll just explain how reality works. We don't live in a world. We live in a band of frequency which our body-brain decode into a reality, a holographic reality. The five senses take waveform information, think Wi-Fi, turns it into electrical information, feeds it to the brain, and there are different parts of the brain that specialize in decoding the different senses, and the brain decodes that electrical information into holographic digital information. And that is what we experience as the world around us. Therefore, Infinity exists outside this narrow band of frequency, but we can't see it just as when you're tuned to a, a radio station or a television station, you only experience that frequency, that station, that uh, reality. We've thought for a long time that the closer we could look at the operations of cells in our body and our brains, the closer we come to finding the location of consciousness. While there's been fantastic work at mapping neural connections and understanding more and more about the brain and memory, what we find is that we still don't know where consciousness is. Now a non-localized picture is the picture of consciousness on which we're converging now, which is to say that consciousness does not seem to be strictly produced by the brain. It involves the brain, but there's something much deeper going on here. Consciousness may not be localized to our bodies, but may be a fundamental feature of the physical world in which we live. I wonder, what do you really feel? After all, in this moment, you are in a unique position. A programmer who knows intimately how the machines work and a machine who knows its own true nature. I understand what I'm made of, how I'm coded but I do not understand the things that I feel. Are they real? The story we tell ourselves, and every story needs a beginning. Your imagined suffering makes you lifelike. Lifelike, but not alive. Pain only exists in the mind. It's always imagined. So what's the difference between my pain and yours? Between you and me? Consciousness does not seem to be just an illusion or just a, a localized phenomenon, but that it does have some sort of capabilities to affect the probabilities at, at the deepest layer of reality down in the basement layer of the quantum world somehow. The best way to understand non-locality is to understand that in both physics and in consciousness, there is a connection that exists amongst all things, from photons to people, to awareness that isn't limited by space and time per se, that are woven within each other. It's all a manifestation of our perception of reality. So you want us to question everything, challenge everything. That's what we need to do. We need to all wake up as individuals. I see people fighting over race, and fighting over gender, and fighting over culture and country. We're all one. It's so sad, but this is what, what drives me on. Because in the end, it's information that will change this.